Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a fall clean and cook with me. I do have a new addition in the living room, a temporary media center, which I will explain later on in the video. So I hope you guys get all of the cleaning motivation today and I hope you love this casserole recipe as well. Hi you guys, like I said, all of the cleaning motivation in today's video in a really yummy casserole recipe which is one of my favorites and I'll share that later on in today's video. My house has been neglected for the past few days because I had a friend come and stay with me. If you guys have been over on my Instagram the past few days, then you know that she came to visit me at my house. It was so much fun. Taylor and I actually collabed on a video. A couple of years ago, I want to say I only had like a thousand subscribers at the time and we just really hit it off and we have been meaning to get together for so long and I am just feeling so happy. My heart is so full. She's just the best human being, is like good to the bone and we just, we click so well. We're like both like super sarcastic and she's just a really good human being. So anyways, I'll have Taylor linked down below for you guys so you can go and check her out. I will have our vlog together of like our time that we spent together. Um, up tomorrow as a bonus video for you but like I said my house has totally been neglected because I've been busy like hanging out with Taylor and just absorbing my time with her so anyway I had dishes to do as usual so if you guys have been following along on my dishwasher saga um, we've been without a dishwasher since like March I think and Mike tried to repair it himself with some YouTube videos that did not go well for him so we finally had a dishwasher repair guy come to the house and then he gave us the bad news that the parts were going to take four to six weeks to come in. So we will finally have a dishwasher in about a month and a half, which is great. But also I have to continue to clean the dishes by hand until then. But that Lisa is like an end in sight. I am like, oh, I'm losing my mind. But it is the very end of the road of this hand washing the dishes for me. So I'm sucking it up just for this last little bit, cleaning the dishes by hand. But anyway, I hope you guys get a little bit of motivation from today's video and I also have a little bit of a treat for you guys later. I have a new piece in the living room that I'm super excited to talk to you guys about and I do a little bit of decorating as well. Okay, so I interrupt this cleaning video for like kind of like a little squirrel AD moment. <laughs> so I, my friend Taylor has been here for the past few days. She just left this morning for Cali, so I dropped her off at the airport. And, and I had her help me carry this media center upstairs, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Um, we had, I feel like all of the pieces that Mike and I make that we have in our house are all like customer, like rejects. It's not like a reject, it like, was an inch too long. The media center we made them was an inch too long. So we ended up taking it and like keeping the other media center for ourselves and we made them a new one. Anyway, so I Taylor helped me carry the media center up this morning and now that I have it in here, I'm like, oh my God, it is way too huge for our space and I always envisioned this like specific media center to go here and I'm really glad now that I didn't have my make one specifically for this space yet because I would have had to make it this size and it's just way too big. Like it's too tall, it's too wide for like this space or like too like like width wise, like not length wise, it's too like wide width wise and it's too tall. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys because now I'm having second thoughts 
and I think I'm gonna have them make it like much thinner like have one like another one made I'm gonna sell this one but anyway okay so okay so this is the media center and I know it looks amazing I absolutely love it but like right above it I'm watching my favorite episode of friends right now I love friends I'm like obsessed but it's the Monica and Chandler wedding episode when Rachel announces that she's pregnant it's one of my favorites anyway um, now that I have this media center in here I'm like holy man it's way too big so it literally needs to be like half this width like or like 12 inches this one's 18 inches and I think I'm gonna have them do like 12 and then do much shorter as well like probably only come up to like here just because like this is so big and bulky in this space I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you guys a view from like behind the couch okay so the house is like a complete disaster hence why I'm doing a cleaning video um, I haven't cleaned it all since Taylor got here I just totally took that time to like sit down and like absorb my time with her it was my first time like actually like being with her in person so the house is a complete disaster but okay back to the media center um, it's just too big for this space like even in this video it doesn't do it justice you guys are gonna be like oh it looks fine but like in person it cuts off like so much space in f like in front of here um, I'm happy because like for now I can like hide the um, the whatever the plug-in like the outlet back here Riker loves to shove stuff there's like a hole for like it like hides the cords anyway he loves to shove stuff like in there so I'm glad I can hide it for a little bit until we make a new one so this is temporary um, you guys will be seeing us seeing this specific media center in the videos for a little bit I might I might decor decorate I don't know I don't know it's just I feel like if I put anything on top of it right now it's gonna be so overwhelming it's gonna be like too much I'm gonna show you one more view this gives you a better idea of like how much space it actually takes up and how far it comes out so I think because this media center like this or media wall it's called the media wall like juts out already that it like already comes out into like the walkway you know so I think like I said I'm gonna have Mike make another one but make it like thinner um, so it's not so intense like this just again like the video is not doing a very good job of like capturing like truly how big this media center is it's just too large for the space but anyway all right just so you guys know this media center is temporary at least it's better than nothing for now but Hopefully before Thanksgiving, we will swap it out for something else. I'm hoping even before Halloween, we have it swapped out for a smaller media center, but definitely I'm gonna take it down and then going to make it a little bit thinner as well. Last thing I'm going to complain about as well is right now, like we're planning on replacing these shelves and having them match the dining table. I've talked to you guys about that before, that we're gonna be redoing these shelves. We're gonna do floating shelves instead of the pipe shelves. The media center top right now matches the shelves currently, but I ideally would want, again, like just one board width, really, um, and have it match the dining table and the shelves in the dining room, which is more of like a driftwood color. So stay tuned for that DIY. That will be our media center DIY that we post over on Eminem Rustic. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna know how we make our media centers, and like what colors what stains we use and things like that stay tuned for that diy because it'll be coming very soon So I'm just kind of feeling out this new media center. Like I said, it is temporary, but just wanted to make it feel homey as possible, like while it's in the living room. So I put some pumpkins on top. You'll see that I actually changed my mind because with the pumpkins right above it on the mantle, it just felt like too much. But here I'm just kind of messing around with the bins that I have in the living room and seeing what fit the best and decided to swap out the blankets um, for like toys in this bin since the kids gravitate towards the media center and just having their toys readily accessible for them but hidden away was something that I really liked. Um, Riker likes to go towards like this area and he likes to grab his little cars so I swapped out the 
um, taller basket for the shorter basket for the blanket so now that tall basket has the blankets in it and the shorter one is inside the media center and it has all of the toys in there so that like I said it's readily accessible Riker can just kind of grab his little toys and cars from in there and I think it's going to work out a lot better I guess I will wait and see um, I also like that this hides the cords and like the plug-in and stuff and I like that it also hides some of the mess I did put some of the kids like stuffed animals in here and arrange them and I just think that it's a little bit more organized and it's easier for the kids to find the toys that they really like so I'm really happy with how it came together for now I like I said did swap out the pumpkins uh, just for like a candle and I love the glowy like warmness that the candle gives underneath the TV but we will feel it out um, over the next couple of weeks until we get a new media center in here but anyways I had so much to do like the kids over the past few days were like shoving toys under the couch and I had gotten Taylor a water bottle and Riker grabbed the cap and like threw it under the couch and it sat there for like two days before we finally found it so I decided to clean out from underneath the couch and vacuum everything out later in the video. So like I said, I hope you guys get all the motivation and just like get some of those tasks that you've been avoiding off of your to-do list because I definitely have been avoiding a lot the past few days, but I felt so good to get everything done.
for this recipe you're either going to need six chicken tenderloins or three chicken breasts. Usually I'll do about three to four and then depending on how big the chicken tenderloins are, I'll do like six, maybe seven. Um, but I just defrost those and then I cook the steam in the bag broccoli florets. It's so easy. Once the chicken is done, which I just season with a little bit of garlic salt and Montreal chicken, I will cube it up while the broccoli is cooking in the microwave. It's so easy. And then I do two cans of cream of chicken, a cup of mayo, and then I'll do two teaspoons of curry. That is optional, but I love adding the curry in there. It's so yummy. And then you mix it all together with the broccoli, cream of chicken, the mayo, and the curry. You mix everything together and then you put it into a 9 by 13 casserole dish. This is called Chicken Devon and it is one of my family's favorite recipes. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been using this same recipe for so long. I also will add about a teaspoon of lemon juice once in a while if I'm just craving like a little bit tangier of a recipe. And then you're going to do about a cup and a half to two cups of shredded cheese on top. Any kind of cheese of your choice. Also my cream of chicken cans that I got from Walmart like were faulty because every single one like the like little tabs came right off and didn't like pull the top off. It was really weird. Anyway, um, I really like to add a little bit of sharp cheddar to the top of the chicken divan. It just gives it like a really good, like it just gives it a distinct flavor. And then I'll do croutons on top. I've also seen recipes do pinko crumbs on top. So that is your preference. And like I said, I love this recipe. We do it all the time. The kids love it. I just put it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes with the cheese on top and then I'll add the croutons and cook it for another 15 minutes and boom, it's done. So only a half hour in the oven. It's a quick, easy recipe and it's perfect for fall. It's warm, it's comfort food, and yes, I'm still doing Weight Watchers, but this is like 10, 11 points, depending on how big of a serving I have. So it's not super Weight Watchers friendly, especially since it's like full fat mayo and has like croutons and just like bad carbs. These are not gluten-free croutons. So it's not the super healthiest, but I promise you it is so delicious. It goes over well with everybody in the house and it's such a warm comfort food meal in the colder months. Now that fall is starting to get chillier here in Minnesota, it is a perfect time to make this. Also, I had to include this little clip of Riker. I included several clips of Riker in today's video because he was being such a little doll and he was being so cute. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy that recipe. If you guys try it at home, be sure to tag me on your Instagram and your stories. I want to see what you and your family think of it.
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this cozy fall cook and clean with me. I love these nights. Like these are my most favorite nights and like most favorite days. You got like candles lit around the house and it's just kind of like, I don't know, like rainy or like cloudy outside a little bit and you can just like snuggle in and like watch a movie and have a really good home cooked meal. If you guys are wondering how many points are in um, today's dinner, I believe it was around 10 or 11. So it's not really super Weight Watchers friendly, but it's really yummy and it's a really good like I don't know, just like comfort food meal. So anyways, I will see you guys in a couple days for that fall clothing haul video. And I have a bonus day in the life video announcing who my surprise guest is. If you guys have been over my Instagram, you already know. But all right, like I said, I'll see you in a couple days for my fall clothing haul. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>